man. They was throwing body shots. They was throwing jabs. <laughs> they was throwing air shots. No, it was a good fight. Did, did that, that kind of get you going for, for July 22nd? Like, yeah, like, what, yeah, I'm, I'm around the corner. What's July 22nd? It's a Saturday. 29th. Are you surprised by the outcome? Were you surprised by the outcome? To be honest, yes. Devin, that's that's my guy. I was rooting for him the whole fight, but you know, uh, what was it? 116, 112. Yeah, that's crazy. Eight four, and then two judges had a seven five. Yeah, that was crazy. What, in your opinion, Terrence, what won Devin the fight? I don't know. Maybe the body shots. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? He was throwing. Uh, Man, that was crazy. Terrence, outside fighting here, does Devin Haney beat Tank? Who wins that fight? Uh, I always said Devin beat Tank, but you know what I mean? After watching tonight. The way Lomachenko was landing them left hands on, on uh, Haney, it was going to be kind of tough for Haney to win getting uh, hit like that from Tank. But Styles make fights, you know what I mean? So what, you got, you got what about Devin and Shakur, Terrence? What do you man, think of that fight? See that fight? Yeah, what what we talking hey, about? Hey, you already know. You already know. You know, you know you're doing you, though. You're doing you. Know, Shakur, ain't nobody beat Shakur. Why would you, why would you shame, favor him in this fight? Shame, what? motherfucker, shame. Let's Terrence Crawford. Terrence, why in that matchup, though, do you give the edge to Shakur? I know you should favor I'm him saying Shakur everyone. beat everybody. It don't matter who it is, Shakur beating them, so. It don't matter. Shakur over everybody. That's would, how it's going to be. Would he have to make that fight in the pocket, though? Because does Devin's length and all that? Who? Uh, Shakur, yeah. Ah, man. man, that boy's special. That boy's special, man. Shakur's, you know what I mean, one of a kind, you know what I mean? He, he adapt to every fighter. And then once he adapts to you, it's, 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 it's a long night. So he can make Devin, like, give up his height, not necessarily have to just... Go after him. We didn't see we didn't see Shakur go forward. We didn't see Shakur stay in the pocket. You know what I mean? We didn't see Shakur move. We didn't see you know what I mean? how defense minded he been. Like Shakur is just all around a great fighter. You feel like Haney should move up to forty though, or stay at thirty five? Take the Shakur fight. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I, listen, I know what it feels like to be struggling to make one thirty five. I was there, you know, uh, for uh, some time and. You know, uh, it's up to him. He's young. He's the one I got to make the weight. Nobody else. Uh, so, yeah, you know. Very close fight. Um, he did a lot of good work early. Devin, uh, Haney. Uh, Lomachenko came back later on in the fight, like a true champion. And, um, you know, very close fight. I don't think we should ruin such a good fight, such a high-tech fight by the other robbery and what everyone, everyone's, you know, so you felt like the fight. scores were appropriate? Look, I think 7-5, I'm happy with. I'm happy with 7-5. Could have been a draw. Um, it's what angle you're seeing the fight. It's what you're seeing. And again, Devin is the champion. So the close rounds are going to go to to Devin. Um, but again, Loma is a warrior. And yeah, it could have went his way as well. Yeah. Did you think the last great fight, great was fight. the last round the deciding factor in the bout? So, you know, that it was so hard to score. Every, every round it was like, what do you think? What do you think? Could have went that way, could have went that way. So that's why it's such a close fight. That's why it's so, such an interesting fight, man. So, what happens yeah. for Defensively Lomachenko next? Where does he go from here? Uh, I think uh, he's got a big, big stadium fight in Australia with, with Cambosis, like we're originally meant to do. Um, but again, let him heal, let him go back to the Ukraine, so I'm praying for the Ukraine, and um, you know, it is what it is. How about Devin Haney? Uh, after the fight last time out against Ryan Garcia, I caught up with uh, I caught up with Tank's brother Meech, and Meech said clearly we are looking clearly to step to Devin Haney next immediately after this next fight. What would you think if they got together? Look, stars make fights. Stars make, and that's what I've been telling the boxing fans for so long. Stars make fights. He might beat him. He might lose to him. He might lose to that guy. He might beat that guy that lost to him. So it doesn't. We want the best one, the best. We get the zero and. Um, yeah, like we saw tonight, yeah. such a great fight, you know, high tech fight, and um, you know, we'll see if they, if they get it on or if uh, Devin moves up. What advice fight. would you have for Loma? Uh, look, Loma's a true champion. He's a true champion. You know, um, I've always liked Lomachenko. You know, we're meant to fight, and you know, he'll be. I'm sure he's going to bounce back. He'll be back. It's not the end for Lomachenko. How would you see the fight over here? Tell me. How would you see the fight? Revisate, porque creo que me robaron la cartera, man. Was he? Robaron a todo el mundo. No. Ah! Say that in English, Jorge. Come oh, on, man. You, you thought they robbed It's being robbed, man. Watch out your wallet, your watch, and everything, okay? How do you have it scored? I think I, I saw 
Honesty, honesty, Loma by two points. Two points. Yeah. What is that? 112, 160. What the shit is going on? Four rounds. It's stupid. Yeah. But you know, that's the thing what we saw right now in boxing. Mm. More show business than real boxing. Mm. You know what I mean? So, which rounds? Loma. Yeah, Loma for two points. Huh? Two. Two. Yeah. Yeah. That shit. The fight was amazing. A hell of a fight. From round one to round 12, man. It was a hell of a fight. Decision, that shit was trash. What What do you think the score should have been? About 8-4. Eight, 8-4 four. Eight four in what direction? Lomacheco, for sure. I, I, I mean, I didn't really see a lot that Devin was really doing. I'm going to go back and watch on camera, but I didn't really see too much Devin was really doing to win the fight. So, Lomachenko, a lot of a lot was made about Lomachenko maybe not belonging in his spot. What did you think he proved tonight with the way he performed? He still got it. He still got it. I would say Lomachenko probably show us something that we don't expect, and I feel like he did that shit tonight. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never see Devin Haney get hit like that by nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like he won the fight. So Lomachenko showed up. He showed out tonight. Can you say at 135 or does he need to go back to 130? I mean, he, he, he could stay at 135, but his best bet is to go to 30 if he can make it. What happens next for uh, Lomachenko? How soon do you think he should get back in the ring or should he just go on a hiatus for a little while? He's old, so I wouldn't say just jump back in there. You know, he's experienced enough to know um, when he should get back in there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about what he want to do with his body and just how he recovered. Devin Haney and Ryan? Devin Haney and, uh, Devin Haney and Tank. Devin Haney and Tank? Oh, yeah. Tank gonna knock Devin out for sure. We seen it tonight with Lomachenko, an old Lomachenko. And we see it here, FIBO beat Lomachenko so easy so that this shit didn't even make no sense. So Tank will knock Devin ass out all the way. What weaknesses did you see in Devin and I? You seem so widely unimpressed. Yeah, because I ain't think I ain't think it's gonna go down like that. Like I really felt like Lomachenko clearly just won the fight. Like it was clear as day. There's no reason why I feel like Devin should have got a decision. But I mean it was a good fight at the end of the day. I ain't hating on it, but I don't think he won the fight. Who's a businessman want to fight next? Shit, it don't matter. Oh, shit. I'm going to put on great performances, just like I always do. I love to fight. Who I'm going to get in the ring with me, we going we gonna to throw down. Definitely. Shakur Stevenson in the crowd tonight. Uh, one of the best in the division. What do you think happens next with Shakur? He should fight Devin next. If, if Devin, you know, stay at 135, he should fight Devin next. If not, that world, the world title should be his. How do they match up? Shakur, that's Shakur's little brother. Easy work. That's your core little brother. And still and undisputed still. champion of the world, like I've been telling the world from day one. He boxed him. He boxed beautifully. Listen, the fight was close. Not taking anything away from Lerma Chico. Lerma Chico came. He's a crafty veteran. He did exactly what we expected he going to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He got in with some good shots. He was able to counter and, and you know, pick him off at times. But Devin was, Devin adjusted so well. Watch it. He adjusted so well. He started out good in the early round with the jab, but then in that middle rounds he found that body. I mean, did you think that that leg was gonna come up? I was, I was, I was taking bets over here that that leg was gonna come all the way up. He was gonna pick that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you make? I guess. Why do you? Uh, so I, I guess this is interesting. The fans Sorry, here, man. I feel, felt Lomachenko right. won, but you know, in yeah, boxing, what, what, what won Haney the fight? The European. Boxing, what are they missing? Boxing, that you saw? ring generalship. Yeah. He walked them down. You know what I'm saying? He he, he he pressed the fight. He pressed the fight beautifully. You know what I'm saying? He used his jab. He let, you know what I'm saying, combinations go, you know what I'm saying, when he when he had to. What happens if he faces Shakur? Great fight. Great fight. I mean, you could take Shakur. That's, that's my little brother, man. He's a monster. You know what I'm saying? Devin Haney is the undisputed champion of the world. When that fight comes, the game plan will be put together, and we're just going in and do what we got to do. That's it. Anthony, what do you think, bro? What do you think about the fight? You know what? I know obviously the crowd is against Haney, yeah? yeah. I think it was a, I think it was a very close fight. One of the scorecards were too wide. But early rounds, no one was respecting the, 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 the body work that Haney was doing. Mm. So I feel like that's what won him the fight. He kept him at distance. I think it only, he only had like two or three bad rounds, and they were big bad rounds. That's why I think everyone swayed, but majority of the fight, I think Haney had it. The score, you thought it was fair? Not the one that was wide, the 116, yeah. 112. I think that was yeah. a bit much, but the 115, 113, I can go with that. Um, and maybe like if it was a one, you know, if it was one round a bit shorter, 
it was a close fight, but I did give it to Amy. Uh, who'd you I have? Had, you had Amy? My bro. Yeah, yeah I had yeah. Amy, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, Anthony, yeah. man. Thank you. It's a 12 round fight. It's not, like I was saying, if it was one, if you, who had the best round? Lomachenko. Let me ask you this then. Shakur beat Haney, in your opinion? It's a hell of a fight. I remember we used, I used to watch him spar. Yeah. They used to spar quite a lot in Florida's gym. Um, it's, that would be a hell of a fight, man. Tactical. Remember, styles being facts. People are going to go off of this performance against a, a legend in Lomachenko because it was a close fight. And then again, Shakur's last performance, it was easy. It was, it was excellent. But when you match them up, it will be such a technical fight. I, I, I want to see it, I want to see it. The tight fight, close fight, great skills. But you know, it's, uh, I wasn't judging it, I was just there to enjoy the skills. That's what I was here for. What do you think but, is next for either guy, starting with Devin Haney? Do you think Devin Haney goes on to fight Tank next? That's the one everyone wants. I'd love that. That's, that makes sense. Or a rematch. I'd rather watch a rematch. I'd love a rematch. You love a rematch? I'd love a rematch. What do you that, think Lomachenko has to do to win the rematch? I don't know. He did a lot tonight. Though. I thought that was a, a, a very good, a very good fight. Um, I think that I think a lot of people got caught up in Lomachenko's age and Lomachenko being laid off and his commitment to his country and everything. I think everybody got caught up in that and they thought that you know when because I thought Devin. Early on, Lomachenko did, did exactly like he did when he was fighting Teofimo. I mean, he did nothing. And I think that he did when he did come around, he came back and then he started to, um, he started to win rounds. And I mean, he did, when he did, he, he looked really, really impressive. And I think that, and then that made people think that, you know, they forgot about that he was giving away rounds too. But don't get me wrong, I still thought the fight was close enough for either guy to win. And, and that's how close the fight was to me, that either guy could have won. If they would have said Lomachenko, it would have been fine. If they said Devin, it would have been fine. 116-112, uh, a lot of folks seem to have uh, a little bit of concern and take umbrage to that score. What did you think about that? Well, I, I think, I thought, I think that, was, that probably was a little, a little too much because I thought that the fight was extremely close. And I think that, I thought that if Lomachenko actually would have stepped on the gas in the last round, he probably would have won the fight. So it was that because, close? Yeah, I mean, that's how close it was to me. I mean, I thought that either guy could really win. And I think that, you know, Devin do, what Devin did is in the last round is basically, you know, kind of like, kind of shifted it his way. Because it seemed like whoever, whoever wanted to win in that last round was gonna win the fight. What do you think happens next for uh, first Vasily Lomachenko? dropping this fight now 17 and three uh taking his third loss tonight what do you think he goes from here well i think that what he showed today really resurrected his career i think that a lot of people thought that lomachenko was going to be done just because devin was much bigger and much you know and not necessarily stronger but you know a much bigger fighter and that he was going to annihilate him you know, but he showed that he belongs. He showed that he still belongs. Guy's been laid off for a whole year, you know, and having done nothing in boxing for a whole year, and, you know, doing stuff for his country and stuff like that, you know. And I mean, we nobody knew what he had left, and and it's, there's definitely no shame in losing to Devin, and it really ain't no shame is because the fight was close enough for him to even win. So I think that I think the best route for him. Would is to be to to try to check out probably because I mean he did really good for at 135 pounds you know give it a, give it a shot or even or drop back if I think if he drop back down to 30 I think he'll be king again you know so I mean the all I mean I think that with this performance I think that his stock rises his stock went back up you know I mean and. You know, right now, I mean, basically, you know, I mean, it's just a, a matter of, I think, what what weight division he chose, and that's either 130 or 135. I think that he'll be he'll, he'll be he'll be all right in either one. What about Devin Haney? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I caught up with Devin Haney's. I mean, uh, I caught up with Tank Davis's brother Meech at mm -hmm. the media workout for 
Tank Davis and after the fight versus Ryan Garcia after he knocks Ryan out. Mm -hmm. He told me, quite frankly, look, we're looking to step to Devin next. We actually need to fight Devin next. Uh, what do you think about how they match up Tank Davis and uh, and Devin Haney? Oh, I mean, I think that that's a great fight. That'll be that would be the perfect fight for for boxing. I mean, and one thing that would Devin would have to do with the Devin that we seen tonight we have no chance against um, Tank. Mm, uh, why is that? Because of the way he fought, he took he took way more risk than he than he needed to. I mean, with with Tank, it only takes one punch. So you got to, you got to, when you're fighting Tank, you're going to have to fight precise. You're going to have to be precise with, with everything that you do because if he hit you one time, the fight could be over. So you're going to have to fight at the, at a dis, at a safe distance, and you're going to have to do that the whole entire fight. And like even Devin himself, he said he changed his fight, his fight style tonight just for Lomachenko. But I mean, Devin's smart enough to know that he can fight fight that same way with with Tank. So if you were to rank them all, Tank, Shakur, Devin, uh, where would you put them? Um, leaving the belts off the table, if you I can mean, do so. I mean, really leaving the belts off the table. Still, I think the one thing is this: I think either guy can beat either guy, but. Tank is the one guy that's different than all the rest because he has power and he has one punch knockout power. So Devin, Devin can be ahead of him, you know, 10 rounds. Tank can still hit you one time and it might be over. Same thing with your core. I mean, but I'm not saying that they can't fight a perfect fight. I mean, those are two of the best young boxers out there today. And I mean, and basically, if anybody has a chance of beating Tank, it's, it's Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney. You know, but they're gonna have to fight at a, a safe, you know, a safe, a safe distance. They're gonna have to keep the, the distance gonna be, that's the most important box, I'm sorry, most important part of fighting Tank is staying your distance, staying out of the range of, of being caught because once you hit, once he hits you, it's going to be over with. Oh, the 115, 113, you know, it, it could have been that. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know the scorecards, but I was listening to the commentator just now in, in the arena, and I believe that, um, I guess they were saying um, Devin pulled out that 12th round, so that, that's what, you know, broke it from a, from a draw. So, you know, I can't, you can't call it a robbery. It was two, it was two very um, talented, high-level high competitors, you know, fighting at the best level. And it is what it is. What would you like to see next? Uh, a couple weeks ago, the last fight for Tank Davis, I caught up with Tank Davis's brother after the fight, Meech. And Meech let me know, hey, we're looking to step to Devin next. We need Devin next. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? I, 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 I would together? love to see that. I would love to see that next. I would love to see that next, but it's up to Devin Haney if he's going to stay at um, lightweight. You know, you, the weight has been, um, has been a factor for the past couple of fights, so. Again, I know, I know what Devin. It has to make sense, and what I mean by make sense, it has to be, it has to be something, some real money on the table. But uh, um, as a fight, as a fight fan, I'd love to see that fight. And even if it's not at 35, you think they could probably match up at a catch weight, huh? Catch weight, catch weight, whatever. You know what I mean? I, 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 it's still a good fight. It's a good fight. But like you said, definitely, I would like to see that fight. Whether it's at 35, 40, in between 135 and 40. But boxing needs these, these, these type of matchups to continue growing and, and getting people interested in, in, in seeing the fights. How do you see a potential matchup between Tank Davis and uh, Devin Haney if they do That's gonna be It's going to be a hard fight for um, Devin Haney. And I, and I said it because um, from what I, from what we've seen today, you know, he, he did get hit with a, with, a, with a lot of good left hands. And you know, Tank Davis has a, has a huge punch with that left hand. I'm not saying that. Devin can't win it, but it's just that, you know, I feel like he just some things he needs to work on, like any other fighter. I, you know, even including myself, I had to work on things, you know. So that, that's the norm. But again, like I said, um, I would like to see that fight. It's a dangerous fight, but it's a good fight for the sport of boxing. It's a, it's a fight we need. And if we can't get that fight, you know, fight Shakur Stevenson. You know, fight some, you know, fight one of the, one of those two individuals. But it, I would rather see one of those two guys fight Devin Haney next. What do you, would you like to see out of Vasily Lomachenko? Valiant effort tonight. Yeah. 
fought his heart out, still shows that he belongs at this level. What do you think about I mean, he still shows he can compete at this level, man, more importantly. Um, but it's just like, it's just like I don't know what the, where, where he goes from here, you know what I mean? I don't know if he has the motivation anymore. You've seen, you've seen how upset he was in his locker room a few moments ago on, on the big screen or whatever. So I can't call it, but How again, see? what was the scene in his life? Um, you know, he was, he, he was he was crying. He was upset. He was very upset. You know what I mean? He, so that that takes a lot out of you. You know, you're mentally. You know, mentally. You know, it takes a lot out of you. So who knows? But again, um, shout out to Vasily Lomachenko. He did he, he did his thing. Hell of hell of a dude. Hold on, let me just get my man over here. Shout out to my man. Come on, you gotta come over here, brother. You gotta get over here. Shout out to my brother over here, Jermaine Ortiz. But like I said earlier, so I, would, I would like to see him fight one of the, you know what I'm saying, the top competitors in the division. Jermaine, Elliot. what did you think about the fight tonight? We saw Devin Haney defeat Vasily Lomachenko. What did you think about it? Man, I thought Loma won. I thought Lomachenko won. I thought he dominated the fight. He pressed the fight. Uh, he landed the cleanest shots, landed more shots. That's all I gotta say. What's, what's, getting, what's getting lost, my man, in all this controversy right now is what a great fight it was. That's Absolutely. what's getting lost. It was, in my mind, that was one of the closest fights I've seen in a long time. Even within the rounds, the rounds were very close. I think Devin built up a lead, and I think some, I, I didn't look at the scorecards, but on my court, card, I thought Devin, body work, particularly uh, early in the fight, was incredible. I thought that's where he was getting the best of Loma. But Loma did some great things in there too, man. And, and it was a very, very close fight. I had the fight getting tighter at the end. Um, I, I thought Loma won like, you know, more of the final kind of final section of the fight. But I had Haney up early. And, and um, to me, it was like, I wasn't, I mean, my, I, so many rounds were so close. I circled a bunch of my own scores saying, what the fuck, I don't know, right? And, but I had like a round to draw, Devin by one, a round to draw like that. I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't have been that upset with a one, one or a, a point either way, right? So I don't think, other than the one card, I don't think the other the 116, two. 116, Yeah, one. other than that card, I don't think there's anything wrong with the other cards. And I think that it was a, a brilliant exhibition by two of the most gifted fighters in our sport. Yeah. I, I thought it was, they both fought their hearts out. Neither one of them deserved to lose. Um, maybe that's another reason that the draw was, and a lot of people also out there did think it was a draw. Um, I understand why Loma's upset, because when you fight that kind of fight and, and you don't win, and you, in your own head you thought, I did what I had to do, I executed my game plan. Um, but I do think it was that kind of fight. It was a very hard fight to score. But honestly, boxing fans were a winner tonight. The, the whole sport won tonight. And if you want to know what great boxing is, like what really polished um, you know, it's why we call it the sweet science. There were two scientists in the ring tonight, man. Those, those two guys were, uh, are about as, as good as it gets. And, um, and I, I, I thought it was a privilege to watch that fight. In the middle round. And I'm happy for Devin. And, and I think, I mean, I don't think, I felt badly for Loma that he has to deal with that, that kind of loss. I felt badly for Devin that he had to listen to booze when he fought a brilliant fight. In the middle rounds, it seemed like Devin kind of was pulling away at one point. I had Devin yeah, two I, or three rounds. I, I, in that the was that's and that's what gave, I mean. That's why I, I mean, I you know I, I had Devin pulling away, and then I had Loma pulling it closer at the end, but not and and not maybe not quite getting there. And that's how the judges had it. You know, I I, I sort of I was almost expecting a draw a little bit. On my card, I had gone into the last round the way if Devin won the last round. Uh, he wins the fight. If Lomachenko won the last round, it would have been a draw. Well, subsequently, my card was 114-114. Doesn't mean anything in this situation, but I did think that the fight was a draw itself. Yeah, it was, clo it was as close as it gets. And, um, you know, man, I, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be associated with a fight that was this memorable. Unfortunately, you're going to have a lot of people, including fans, you're going to be reading all week about, you know, robbery here or whatever, and, you know, uh, Loma thought he clearly, clearly won. No, I didn't think that at all. Um, I think Bill said it wasn't close. I love Bill, but I don't agree with that either. It was close. It was damn close. Um, but, but both fighters should be proud. They gave everything, and, and they fought a, a, a tremendous, tremendous fight. And, um, and the young guy won. The young, the young undisputed guy won. And put some respect on his name, too.
Where do both guys go from here, starting with Vasily Lomachenko tonight's loser? I mean, he's still, like, at the top of the heap. I mean, you know, you're still going to put, you know, Lomachenko at the top of the, 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 you know, he's still right there with, with the, you know, these guys. You saw close, how close that fight was tonight. So where does it put him? He's still in that top echelon. Devin's undisputed. You know, Loma's right there. I mean, you know, I'd like to see Loma against any lightweight in the world. Right, and, and and I wouldn't mind seeing down the line a rematch of this either. So, you know, I, I, Loma is like he said, on to the next one. Uh, you know, I mean, and and, and Devin, um, you know, there's a lot of directions Devin can go, and there a lot, there's a lot. Look, a lot of quality fighters at 135, and a lot of quality fighters at 140. You know what? I got to tell you another thing too. I think that Devin and his team have to really consider the weight drain. And, and, you know, how, how difficult it is to get down to 35 because he's obviously a big kid. I mean, he's a big lightweight. So, I mean, the decision about what, whether they stay at 35 or go to 40, I mean, that's something that Devin and, his, and Bill and, and their team are going to have to figure out. One of the best guys at 135, naturally, whenever you bring up the 135 division, is Tank. Gervonta Tank Davis. Tank, yeah. Um, I'd love to see either guy against Tank. I met up with... Uh, Tank Davis's older brother, Meech, a couple of weeks ago after yeah. the Ryan Garcia fight, he let me know a little insight into the thoughts in the camp. He said they want to step to Devin Haney next. In fact, we need Devin next. If they did lock up, how would you see that fight going? Um, that's a great fight. But I got to tell you, I see Devin's going to be quite, look, you know what? I'm, Tank Davis's one punch counter punching power is among the best I've ever seen. Like his, as a counter puncher, as a power counter puncher, he's one of the best power counter punchers I've ever seen, right, ever. But he's not the most active guy, and he's like sort of a guy that you can get a points lead on. And if he doesn't land the big bomb, I think he's beatable. Okay, thing is, he keeps landing the big bomb. I mean, I don't think Devin's camps would be afraid of that fight. So it is what it is. I'm happy. I wanted to stay, say thank you. You, Bob, Mr. Bob, you, uh, company Top Rank, who gave me this second chance. It was unbelievable night for me, for our team. I never forget this night. And uh, see you next time. And, uh, before we get to the media questions, I'd like to kick it over to Loma's manager, Agus Klimas. Um, and I'm going to say just like it is, this is the biggest robbery in the middle of the day. Uh, for our team, Christmas came in the summer, and uh, we're not going to let it go. I guarantee we're going to protest. I guarantee we're going to appeal that decision because uh, somebody needs to end this injustice. Somebody needs boxing to put in the place where it has to be. And it has to be a justice. Because uh, those judges, when they scoring a completely insane score, uh, they do not understand how those fighters are working hard to get into that place. And then the being robbed like that, it's not acceptable, and uh, I guarantee we're not going to let it go. We're going to go all the way to the end to appeal and to... Maybe we're not going to win. Maybe, maybe it's going to be as it is. Most likely it's going to be. But, but we want to show what it has to be justice. Yeah, um, I just want to you know, say alhamdulillah, thank you Allah for this you know, opportunity. This is, this is all a, a dream come true. Um, I always dreamed of being on this big stage and, you know, just being in big fights and fighting the best fighters in the world. And uh, that's what I did tonight. I proved myself. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, it feels surreal. All, all, all of this is surreal. But I work, I worked hard for this since I was seven years old. I put my all into this. And uh, it's a blessing that uh, everything has come full, full circle for me. It's been four years in the making. Shout out to uh, Lomachenko and Team Lomachenko. Uh, a tremendous champion, uh, a hell of a father and son duo, uh, but tonight was our night. So I want to I want to give a shout out to them and thank thank them. Uh, he's a hell of a hell of a champion and a future Hall of Famer. But uh, tonight, uh, one one star has set and one star has risen, and I'm happy to uh, say that the, the the king of the boxing is here. It's Devin Haney. Uh, he, yes, yes, yes.
In, in, in the words of a, a Teddy Atlas who told uh, Timothy Bradley one time, you gotta be a fireman and you gotta go through the fire. And uh, that's just what Devin did. He showed his versatility. Uh, he fought the fight that the people wanted to see. Um, of course, you know, he could have been on his back foot and jabbed and, 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 and made it a strategy kind of night. But I think he uh, took it to him, man, and I couldn't be no more proud of him.